Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you a ladybug tutorial. Now there are quite a few other ladybug tutorials on YouTube, so go ahead and check them out. Links will be posted around here. Um, the one I'm going to show you today though is this little guy. Um, I made his eyes a little too big in this one, but all the more adorable when it's like that. And he's a bracelet too. So this is the one I usually make. Um, it's really easy, really quick, super simple, and it's just really cute. So, supplies. You're going to need four balloons, which seems like a lot, but you only really use parts and pieces of all of these. So like this red one, I'll get quite a few ladybugs out of just one balloon. So you need a scrap of a red, and remember, keep your scraps. Um, some type of eyes. So this is a split twist of a regular 260 white that I'm using for the eyes. Um, in the last, the last ladybug you saw, I did use a five inch round just to make those really big eyes, but this works just fine too. Uh, 260 or 160, whatever you've got, and plenty of uh, yellow for the antennas, and black 160. Again, it doesn't really matter too much. Just blow it up about halfway. So I am going to get started with blowing up the antennas. And if you saw my butterfly, baby butterfly video, I do the antennas the same way every single time. Okay, so blow it up all the way. Twist the circle at the end. <laughs> Let it go, tie it. Voila. Blow it back up just a little bit. Okay. And now this time, because I want his antennas to actually stick up with the baby butterfly, I just let them droop all over the place. But to get his uh, uh, antennas to actually stand up straight, you do want to go in a little bit. So I'm going to take off about that much from the end. And then when... I go and grab my scissors, I will clean this right up. Okay, so that would be the antennas, and you see how that will actually stay upwards, which is nice. Okay, and this go to the eyes, so wrap it around. There you go. And now you want that black. So you're gonna take the black, and again, if you see my butterfly video, it's like the same thing. You line it up and you wrap it around. Now it's your choice here if you just want to make a little bit bub a little bubble right here and then wrap that into here. I like to just use the knot to wrap it in. So it's like that. And then I'm going to put in two tiny pinch twists. So here's one pinch twist. And one more just to keep everything really in there good. Alright, so that's the start of him. Just adjusting the antennas upwards. Like so. Now for the legs, what I'm going to do is three tiny little bubbles. So just like that, three of those. Like one two, three. And those are his three little feet. Follow that up by a tiny little pinch twist. So three feet, one pinch twist. And then again, of course, three more feet. One, two, three. And then twist that back into those first two pinch twists. Okay, now his shelf. Scrap red, and this part, pretty self-explanatory. This knot into the neck, bubble about that big, then into the butt, and back and forth. So I'll do that real quick. Make this 
about that big, okay? So just two, three inches maybe, max. And same size again. Okay, so I don't need this extra red, so I'm gonna pop that off and keep this for future ladybugs. Now this, I'm going to use part of it for the bracelet, but you don't usually need the full length, so I'm just going to pop it off right about here. Come on. There we go. Okay, so yeah, you just need a little bit, and then I'm going to twist that back underneath into the little tail, I guess. Alrighty. So I'm going to situate his head so it's facing up. And I'm going to take my scissors and clean up his antennas. There we go. And Sharpie. Where did I put the Sharpie? So as you can see, he is pretty tiny, significantly smaller than most of the other ladybugs that I've seen. But ladybugs are small, so it kind of makes sense. Um, of course, you're just going to do really big dots on the back there. I mean, the bigger you can make them, the better it seems to look. I always put them all around from different angles. Put one more right here. Okay, then as always, to make something extremely cute, you want to do extremely cute pupils. Like that. Okay, let me put them on so you guys can see. There's my little bit ladybug bracelet, um, and just in case you're wondering, this is totally fake. Um, but he is adorable, and last parties I did, he was extremely popular. So, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please subscribe, and let me know if you have other ideas for other videos. I think I'm going to be doing a shark soon, so keep tuned.